Welcome back to SRB Gaming. Today we are landing on what you see right now, the planet Mercury in KSP Real Solar System, Episode 6, I believe. Uh, this is the Mercury 4 mission. We've had four missions to Mercury. Two of them have achieved orbit. You can see one of them right now in that eccentric orbit. That is Mercury 3. Mercury 4 is the first one to land on the surface, and it could kind of be considered a base because it is holding uh, three Kerbals, and I am planning to send a station here. Eh, it'll be hard, but I'll figure it out and stations and resupplies. So yeah, I can consider it a base as well as a lander. The lander is just shy of 10 tons, so rather large. We are using a vasomere transfer stage. You know, standard nuclear reactor, liquid hydrogen, uh, what I usually use. Um, the lander is made up of a uh, Gemini fuel tank from the FASA mod, a Apollo command module from the FASA mod, which holds three Kerbals and looks really nice. It's, not, it's actually got parachutes, although there isn't any atmosphere here. Um, we've got two uh, circular solar panels from Near Future Solar, a couple batteries, landing legs, ladders, standard stuff, and just a poodle engine. Um, yeah, I didn't actually bring carbonite equipment or pylons, cast pylons on this mission because I figured the gravity was high enough that I wouldn't need it. As you can see, um, we're doing the landing burn and we come in really fast because Mercury's gravity is 3.7 meters per second squared, which is almost the same as Mars, except Mercury is far smaller. Mercury is actually smaller than Ganymede. But Ganymede's gravity is two and a half times smaller, or less. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's like landing on Mars. Um, pretty fast, no atmosphere, so I had to burn off all my velocity, and uh, I wasn't actually sure if I would come in in time, but uh, I, I did manage to land. Uh, I was going to use the Apollo service and uh, service module engine, which comes with the FASA mod, but it's it's underpowered. I mean, I checked, I, I looked at it. If you if you build an Apollo service module and command module assembly, you end up with um, 1.2 1.2 kilometers per second delta B. And I looked up the stats for the real one, and it's like twice that. And I couldn't figure out why it was so underpowered, and I know it's built for the stock game, but I was kind of hoping it would be the same as the real one so I could use it. It's not, so I had to, instead of using a service module, I'm using just a fuel tank and a poodle engine, because they're better. Anyway, uh, mercury is 70% metallic composition, that's why the density is so high, it's actually the second most dense planet in the solar system, slightly below Earth. And uh, another interesting thing is that the days are longer than the years, on Mercury, so I definitely had to make sure to land on the light side or else it would have taken forever for the sun to come back up. The surface is very smooth, especially compared to the Pluto landing I did yesterday. Um, very smooth. There aren't any giant mountains. There's some, I mean, there's mountains, but plus the planet's bigger. That's probably why they don't look as dramatic as well. Coming in fast, I, uh, yeah, again, I wasn't exactly sure that I would be able to make this landing, but I, I did it, so I'm happy with that. Um, this module will not be able to re-enter orbit. I'm pl again, I'm planning to put a space station here, a small one, which I know is possible because landing takes up a lot of delta-v. Once I do that, I'm going to have to find out some way to make like a micro-lander. Uh, there's the landing. A uh, micro-lander to resupply these guys, and I can turn it into a fully-fledged base. So I'm going to call it a half-base right now. It's kind of a base, it's kind of just a lander. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get that station up as fast as possible, and we can see that in action. And now the sad part of the video. You heard about Moon Hat with the Pluto mission. Now be prepared to cry again. We have to talk about Moon Bro today. Moon Bro was on the Mercury 3 mission. He's currently up there above us, orbiting in a very eccentric orbit around Mercury, out of fuel. Actually, he does have a little bit of fuel, but it wouldn't be enough to land. Um... Moon Bro will be remembered, and this mission is in honor of him, and he's not technically dead, but he's as good as, because he's not going to ever get rescued with an orbit like that. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Moon Bro. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, really helps the channel. You can click the button in the upper right-hand corner, which will come up at the end of the video. Uh, like and comment if you have any concerns or questions. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.